Well, uh, bee relocation is different from uh, wildlife rescues. Um, only the cavity nesting bees. But with respect to these uh, rock bees, relocation is not a sustainable solution because these bees, as I told you, they cover larger area for foraging. That means their familiar area is so big. So when you relocate, when you when you have to relocate, you will have to completely relocate them away from the urban uh, settlement. So there, you will have to release in the wild. Okay. So here, uh, you know the people who are doing it right now. Uh, so called relocators they are into making quick money unfortunately so more number of hives they relocate in a day more money they can make they cannot relocate one hive away from Bangalore say 55 to 65 kilometers away from Bangalore if they have to release wherever there will be no apartments and no buildings Bangalore is growing so they will have to go away from Bangalore and release so they cannot release only one hive per day so they are making money and they will have to relocate more number of bee colonies in a day and that's why they will get everything in a bag and they will release them in the next road or the next cross or the next block and again they will go to some other same kind of apartment buildings uh, relocation is is not a sustainable solution only two things we can do we can work on one is with uh, uh, the uh, small hacks by understanding their migratory time of the year they will get in uh, when is the swarming time of the year and when the swarms are getting into Bangalore that we will have to see so there are two seasons post monsoon and in the beginning of summer so when we observe these two seasons we will have to block all the spaces wherever the usual swarms will come and nest you can block them not completely you can tie some dangulars and uh, tapes which will be swinging to the wind so the bee colonies they will not prefer a space wherever there will be a disturbance because they will have to grow their colony and and maintain their brood so if something is swinging and hitting the uh, hive uh, they will not consider that space as a ideal nesting space so they will uh, not choose that space when we address the balconies we are going to save 70 percent of the colonies in bangalore so when we do this small hacks by avoiding them getting in in, in the uh, balcony space we are saving a lot of bees so if they are going and settling in some beams and projections of the same building we can leave them let them complete their life cycle in a particular season they will go they are not going to stay there forever 70 percent of the colonies will stay only three months their, their time will be only three months so the next 20 percent may stay for six months and the last 10 percent may stay for one year so that's why if you wait for three months you can save 70 percent of the colonies in Bangalore in, in urban India so that's why this uh, knowledge of uh, bees and how to behave when they are when they are so near uh, so if we know this we can really think of coexistence